Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and today we're going to talk about the Leatherman Signal. So I've on the Leatherman Signal for several months now and I keep this on my adventure motorcycle for when I go backpacking or motor camping. I feel this Leatherman has a great balance between mechanical tools as well as outdoor tools that you would use as a backpacker or someone that's going to be out in the wilderness. So one nice thing about the Leatherman Signal is it comes in a variety of colors. This is the olive green color, but there are several different variants. So the Leatherman Signal has 19 tools and comes in at 7.5 ounces, which is actually not too bad compared to some of the other Leathermans that I have. And one key benefit is it does have this pocket clip so you don't have to use a sheath if you don't wish, and you can just go ahead and put this in your pocket. A little bit heavier than normal but still usable. So let's get straight down to taking a look at the tool itself in some detail. Okay starting from the front of the knife one of the nice things about this is you can open the blades without opening the tool which is very nice and they have a simple liner lock and that goes for the knife as well as the saw itself. One nice feature with this knife is it does have a, a lock, so you can actually lock the opening by sliding this back and forth. So if you do put it in your pocket, you don't want it to open because there are tools inside it, you can lock it closed. From the side, from this end, there is this, what they call a hammer. This is what's used as a temporary hammer. Um, I personally think this is one of the worst ideas that you could have. Uh, because if you're striking a temp peg, I guess that's what they had in mind. Um, if you miss, temp pegs go and straighten your hand. Like, I just would not do that. Grab a piece of wood or a stone or something else. Something you can use with a bit more force and control without having to kind of grip this like this. I mean, if you go further up, I just don't think that's going to help you. So I think that's actually a really bad idea for that. It does have a carabiner type clip so you can clip it to things and this also doubles as a bottle opener which is kind of nice so on the top here there is a quarter inch drive and another one on the other side as well which is a smaller hex drive which is kind of useful as well a little box wrench type and of course there is the pocket clip which is a really nice feature if you don't want to use the included sheath then you can ditch that and use it as a pocket carry. The weight is 7.5 ounces, which is very reasonable. And you know, it, it's got some heft to it, but it's not as heavy as some of the other Leathermans that I own. So we'll slide the clip so we can open the tool. And the tool is fully opened. So you can see from the jaws of the pliers that the wire cutters are replaceable which is always a great thing to see. I do like to see that because they're the ones that would need replacing after some use. Inside we have the combined furrow rod. I can just pull this out. Which is, I guess, one of the unique selling features. So this is a small furrow serum rod, which also doubles up as a whistle. Again, great idea. If you're going to be in the outdoors, you're going to be able to whistle longer than you are going to be able to shout for help if you're in a sticky situation. I always carry a whistle anyway, but again, this is a tool if you just have this with you and nothing else, then you've got a whistle and you've got a way to start a fire. So you can buy the extra replacements for these and they're around $10, I think, Canadian. So if you do run out of this, you're afraid of using it all up, you can buy a replacement. And to get this back in, there's a little hook on the front. You snap in, press down, and the clip catches it. Pretty straightforward. So on the other side, we do have three tools. All these tools do lock. So we have an awl. There's a tin opener, which is more useful than you think as well as a bit driver 
has a replaceable bit and you can also reverse it for a flat or a crosshead type driver. Very useful. You can buy extra bits if you want to expand this as well as a longer bit driver which is very useful. Quarter inch drive at the top can also be used as a bit driver if you have a regular quarter inch bit you can use that. So on the other side we have the sharpener just press that clip and it's removed and it's shaped kind of interestingly so that you can sharpen the blade as well as the serrations. So that's a, a nice inclusion, very small, good for occasional use, um, but obviously sharpie your knife, you need something a little bit bigger. And then to replace it, push forward, it's done. Again, line and lock. The price in Canada is $188 and change from somewhere like Cabela's. Uh, they carry these particular models in stock, which is nice. So I used this recently in a little project where I was uh, starting fire, for instance, and I'll just jump to that clip now. So I'll kind of talk through it as I'm using the knife. This is the new Leatherman signal. It's uh, of those so I'm really liking this knife so far I like that it has everything in there I don't have to think of other things as long as I've got this and I've got fire so the differentiator with this particular Leatherman is that it has the ferrocerium rod to start a fire on this side it has a whistle on the inside here so you can signal for help and you've also got a built-in sharpener on this side so you can keep the knife nice and sharp. My big reservation with this knife, let's put that back on there properly, was the, the main cutting blade. It has uh, serrations and as you saw when I was cutting these, I'm using the outside of the knife or the tip of the knife which is less control even though it's a very sharp blade. Where I really want to be running it is here, but a serrated blade will cut deep because it's scalloped. So you can't, it's very difficult to make some nice fine curls like this. So I think if they revise this knife for the intended purpose, then I would certainly sharpen the blade all the way across and lose the serrations or put a, a serrated blade in separately. But overall, I'm liking the knife very much. It is an expensive unit, uh, but it does exactly what you'd expect it to do, and with the quality and reliability of a Leatherman. Well, that's a more in-depth look at the Leatherman signal. I think without that flaw in the knife design, I think this would be an amazing knife. Either way, I love it, and I'm glad I bought it. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.